Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and this week we're going to take a look at yet another module inside of Ozone 9 Advanced. This is part of my full mastering, um, you know, set of videos that will be in the Ozone 9 playlist here on the YouTube channel. You can check that out if you wanted to see uh, the last several weeks where I've taken a look at different modules. You can click the link in the description box below and check out the playlist. This time we're going to, we're going to listen to the low end focus module. Now the low end focus module is a module that's only available in the advanced version, not the standard version. So you want to keep that in mind. It's one of a handful of modules um, that's in the advanced version only. And this is a really cool module to add a nice little bit of beef to your low end without getting muddy and you get it really focused. Hence the title low end focus. So we're going to listen to that quickly. I'm going to show you how to use it. It's simple to use. Um, and then we're going to get out of here. But before we listen to that, if you like what you see in this video, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Also, if it's your first time here, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy. I want to give you a free mixing course over at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Right on the homepage, click on the orange button. You'll get your free mixing course today. And if you're um, around on the website and you see other training courses that I have available that interest you, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube25. Put that in at checkout, you'll get 25% off any course on the website. So let's head on here into Ozone 9. Now I'm using this again as the standalone version, which is with the advanced version as a standalone program, which is what we've been looking at for the last several weeks. And you can also use each one of these modules in your mixing screen in your edit area when you're mixing a song in any DAW, but that's only in the advanced version, not in the standard version. The standard version, you can't use it as a plugin or the modules separately as a plugin. You have to use it in the standalone version, just so you know that. So anyway, what we've done so far, if you watched the last several videos, we've had, we used the master assistant, had some EQ, some dynamic EQ. We took a look at the maximizer and the imager to give us some stereo width. Now we're gonna add some low end focus. So we're going to click on the plus button. We're going to go to the low end focus module. And again, we're going to move it all the way, I think, to the beginning of the chain here. Okay, so low end focus is pretty simple. This is what it looks like when you, uh, when you bring it up. Now you have the ability to change the range of the low end here where we can drag these sliders in. So if we want to focus on a very specific area of our low end, which I'll demonstrate to you in a second, you can do that here. That's one way you can kind of expand or close the range. You can left click and once you have the range, you can drag the entire range to kind of again focus in on the exact area depending on your program material. And you'll see down here in the bottom left hand corner, the first uh, entry point here is at 45 hertz to 124 hertz. If I double click in there, I can change this to uh, whatever, 30, you can manually type it in as well. Okay, just so you know that, that's how you use that. And you will see as we play back the audio here, you will see the, the display here, the, 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 the analyzer here in a second. Up top here, we can, um, in the center, we can use this as stereo or as mid-side, if you wanna use it as mid-side. We're gonna use it as stereo today, but you can use it as a mid-side type of a thing as well. On the bottom, it's really simple, simple controls here. We have a punchy mode and a smooth mode. The punchy mode is going to give exactly what it says. It's going to it's going to it's going to have a faster response time to emphasize the transient peak. So it's going to have faster response time to really focus in on the transients, on the thickness, on the attack of the low end. Okay. Or you can go to smooth, and smooth is going to do the exact opposite. It's going to kind of smooth it out. It's going to soften those transients a little bit. Okay. If we want to bring out a little bit more of the kick, let's say a little bit more of the the kick of the drum, the bass drum which is what we'll try to do today. We'll use it on punchy. Then we have two sliders here with contrast and gain. Gain is exactly what it, it suggests. You can either add more low end or reduce low end. So if, even if you have something that's a little too thick in the low end and you want to try to reduce some, some of the muddiness, you can do that with the low end focus as well. It's not just a boost. It can be a cut. The contrast adjusts the contrast between the low and high level signal uh, content in the action region. So what this will do is when you read the manual, and I suggest you read the manual for all these modules, Ozone's done a great, or Isotope's done a great job in laying it out in a very layman's terms. As you bring up the contrast, you are going to hear that it's going to get a little bit more punchy, a little bit more low end. Um, as we reduce it, reduce the contrast, it's going to kind of take something that's kind of muddy and it's going to kind of smooth it out a little bit. And we'll, we'll demonstrate that. And then we have the listen button where you can solo up the range the frequency range that you chose so you can just hear what the low end is doing to focus in on it and we'll do that. So let's start with 
everything at zero here. And let's just play back this audio a little bit and you'll get an idea. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to focus in on where we want the low end, where we wanna focus our, our adjustments here. So now if I hit the listen button and I turn up the gain a little, now hopefully you're listening to this on a good set of studio monitors or headphones. On earbuds and stuff, it may be difficult to hear this real low end. But I can see where the low end is here. If I wanna tighten it up, let's say right around the, bring out some of that kick and some of that bass. As I move down here, it's a little bit more thick, a little more sub frequencies as I bring it up. Low mids, right? We don't want that. Okay, so there's our low end. Now again, I can turn the gain all the way up, up 6 dB just so you can hear it. Okay, the contrast let me exaggerate it so we can hear the contrast. So the contrast, as I turn up the contrast, it really focuses and you hear more of the transient, where when you reduce the contrast, it smooths it out more and you don't hear as much of the transient. Now that's on punchy. So the punchy, it, like what I said earlier, it focuses in on you're going to hear more of the attack of the kick drum in this particular case. Now we could bring, take it out of listen mode and let's hear what it does. And then we could bypass by just muting this one module to see what it does to the low end. does exactly what it says it does. It just adds a little bit of that low and a little bit of attack on that kick beater. You can hear it pop through a little bit more and it's not muddy, it's very subtle. Now, one of these, this module in particular, low end focus, you wanna do these things very conservative. You see I'm only raising at 1.7 dB and only 41% on the, on the uh, contrasting and you can dial around and play in can mess around with this. But what I love about it, it's really simple and it's really effective. Unlike an EQ, just a typical EQ where you could just boost up the low end at 60 hertz, things could tend to start get a little bit muddy. This tends to have some kind of algorithm under the hood for this module where it does this in a way where things don't get muddy and very, you know, woofy. It kind of stays nice and sharp and a nice attack and it's a nice way to put a little bit of bump into your low end if you need it. Really nice, really easy to use. Again, fantastic. This is again, if you have this, the advanced version of uh, Ozo 9, you can just use the low end focus in your mixing session. This might be interesting to something that you can use like on a kick drum or on a bass guitar. You can just use the module. That's why I like the advanced version is you can use it as a standalone. We're mastering a, a fully mixed song here in, in these particular sets of videos. But if you wanted to just use this um, as a way to help you at the mixing stage, this would be a great way to do it. So that is the low end focus. Again, really simple to use. I would typically put it first in the chain um, and, uh, and, and dial in my low end. And again, it's real simple to use and it's really effective and it doesn't make at least this particular audio example sound muddy at all. It works really, really well. So I hope you enjoyed this video taking another look at Ozone 9. Again, I would highly recommend Ozone 9. Link will be in the description box below where you can pick it up. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for this uh, with my own money. And I'm glad I did. I haven't been around Isotope products for very long. 
but I'm so impressed with Ozone 9. I also picked up <laughs> Nectar and Neutron, which we're going to look at in a different set of videos. They make some really, really great stuff, stuff that sounds good. It's easy to use, and um, it's very simple, and it, things are done in a very musical and subtle way, which is why I like them. So let me know in the comments below, do you use Ozone 9, or what do you use for your mastering software? I'd be interested to know, um, and what do you like about this or don't like about it, or do you have any questions about Ozone 9? I'd be happy to answer it. Let me know what your thoughts are below in comments. And again, please go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get your free mixing course. And while we're talking about mixing, if you really want to learn mixing in a very non-technical way, and you really want to dive down deep into the whole mixing and mastering process, I would invite you to check out my mixing membership website, mixingmadeeasy.net. Again, all the links will be in the description box below. And until next week's video, where we take a look at another module inside of Ozone 9, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and mixingmadeeasy.net, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care, everybody.